The ACT Greens have been accused of gross hypocrisy over a proposal to ban government investment in a range of industries, including liquor, tobacco and coal mining. The Greens will table a draft bill tomorrow that would only allow government money to be invested in areas deemed ethical. But the opposition says the Greens' leader should apply the same standards to her own share portfolio. The ACT government invests more than $2 billion to provide for public servants superannuation. The Greens want to limit where that money goes. This is not something that we have uh, pulled out of the bag today. Ethical investment has been around for decades. A draft bill from the Greens sets out prohibited investments, including companies that manufacture or sell tobacco, arms, gaming equipment and uranium, as well as those that use child labour. But the inclusion of alcohol, coal mining and genetically modified crops has raised eyebrows. To not allow any investment in GM crops because the Greens don't support genetically modified um, crops is you know, an issue that I think needs further exploration. What you actually have to do is understand the consequences of what you propose. The opposition has also gone on the attack over Meredith Hunter's own investments. The Greens leader owns shares in Macquarie Office Trust. It's around buildings uh, and uh, shopping centres and so forth throughout Australia. Some of the building's tenants have interests in oil, coal and munitions. Here are the Greens telling us we should do something when they don't believe in it themselves. They are not doing it themselves. The hypocrisy in this is absolutely breathtaking. But Meredith Hunter says there's no conflict because the main business of the trust is leasing office space. The Treasurer is worried about the impact on superannuation returns. We need to go in with our eyes open and fully understand what uh, some of the results of those uh, a change strategy could be. The ethical, sustainable and responsible investment in fact does have good returns. The draft bill will be referred to an assembly committee. At that stage the public will be able to comment as well. Julie Doyle, ABC News, Canberra.